Durham Johnston is a highly regarded school. In fact, parents face stiff competition to get their children one of the 1,400 places here. Class 11 is discussing the national lottery. The pupils might wonder what one might do with, say, three million pounds, but the head teacher can spend that sort of money in a year. At the end of this academic period, the school can expect to have 30,000 pounds left in the bank. But next year's budget is having to be cut by 120,000 pounds. The significant shortfall will have to be made up in savings. The very real fear is that successive years will be worse still. There are savings that we can make elsewhere this year. Uh, there may be savings that we could make elsewhere the following year. But if this process goes on, we are bound to have a situation where we have to cut the number of teaching staff in the school and increase class size, or alternatively, to look at whether we might actually do better to keep the classes at a reasonable size and only have the children in for four days a week. And I emphasize that's not something we're going to be doing this year, but it is something that we might have to look at in two years' time. To start off with, most people will probably think, oh yeah, great, a couple of days off school, but um, in reality, um, a couple of days off school, you're not going to get as much work done. And I mean, it's hard enough getting all enough work, sort of lesson time in to study A-levels. We need as much time at school as possible. So cutting down um, when you two, like two days a week is going to be, going to reflect on our education. Our education is going to be well ruined from that, really. For the moment, pupils are happy to suffer the inconvenience of noisy roof repairs. Cutting back on such work would contribute to savings but the vast majority of a school's money goes on teachers' wages. Savings there mean job cuts. The government says it is giving councils more money to spend on education next year. It's up to the councillors to decide their own priorities locally. Every department, the music service, the community education service, the nursery education, the transport, the school meal service, all of those has been asked to make substantial cuts in the last two years, and there's just no more cuts to be made anywhere. That leaves Durham Johnston without much hope of extra money. The school says it's not scaremongering. Unless the problems are addressed now, then sooner or later it will be forced to take drastic action.